I'm sure you've seen people basically start their videos like, Hi, my name is Duspot Pissimus, and this is the Duspot Pissimus channel. Make sure you click like and subscribe and click that bell and check out my Patreon. Yeah, there's no need to announce any of that at the beginning of a video. I mean, if you have a name that's hard to pronounce or people don't know how to pronounce it, you know, like Kizum, you know, may maybe I should put up a, a pronunciation of my name at the beginning of the video like I did in this one, right? Just to, just to make a point, right? But to immediately tell people to like and subscribe and to donate is extremely obnoxious. It treats the audience like they're stupid and gullible. Making demands of the audience before they've even had a chance to look at the content. I mean, it'd be like if a waitress, you know, tried to hint to you, Hey, can you give me a good tip before they've even taken your order? Sure, I'll still give them a tip in the end, but I'm not going to think very highly of their ethics. So yeah, you lose a lot of credibility when you put all that junk at the beginning of your videos. I mean, if you put it at the end, fine, no problem. I mean, you've given people a chance to see the content, but before? I mean, come on. If you put it at the beginning, you obviously care more about getting views and uh, getting your numbers up than anything else. And, and apparently, according to some people, I'm supposed to... to think that the people who do that at the beginning of their videos are a better source of accurate information than the people you see on network television. Now, granted, I, I don't think any of them are that great of a source, and you actually have to do work to find out the real story about anything, but that's neither here nor there. I mean, as far as accurate information, uh, you can find statistics. Yeah, those are accurate, but... or sometimes accurate. But so much else, I mean... I mean, there's some things going on with CNN right now that are... Well, I'm not going to talk about it, but I'm sure you know about it. But anyway, going back to YouTube videos, if people put all that crap at the beginning of their videos, you know, I, I don't like it, but I'll watch it anyway. But I usually hit the L key a bunch of times to get past it, right? Just like I do when they start, you know, having actual advertisements. The, the, the creator is doing the advertisement themselves, right? Yeah, I hit the L key a bunch of times. On your keyboard, when you're watching on your computer, you know, it, this doesn't obviously work on a, on a smartphone or whatever, but when, you, when you're on your computer, the J key rewinds 10 seconds, the K key pauses or plays, and the L key moves forward 10 seconds in the video. Anyway, even after I fast forward through some of the stuff that I normally fast forward through, they often say things like this. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, just you wait until you see what I'm going to bring to you today. It makes me roll my eyes every time. I mean, sure, it's just the equivalent of someone saying, Hurry, hurry, step right up. But it's still cringe, though not enough to permanently lose credibility points. But it does mean that entertainment is the primary objective. It's pretty obvious. Now, I'm sure that for some people, jump cuts makes someone lose credibility. And you know what? That's fine. In my videos, a lot of them have a lot of jump cuts. Not all of them, but, but most of them do. Personally, I like seeing a polished product rather than someone fumbling around. To me, fumbling around is what someone should do in a live stream. Some people, like myself, aren't always that great at articulating our thoughts on the fly. Sometimes I read scripts that I've taken hours to write. When I do, I read the script fragment with my eyes and then turn to the camera to state what it was that was in the script fragment. Sometimes I write just a list of some basic things that I want to discuss, like a table of contents of such. You know, where most of it is still on the fly, but it's based on a specific set of things. And then sometimes the whole thing is on the fly. And then it's sometimes a combination of things. This video you're watching right now is a combination of those things. Now, just my describing this probably makes me lose credibility in some people's eyes. But then in other people's eyes, maybe it'll gain me some credibility. Who knows? You can't please everyone. Just like you apparently can't stop progress, even when it's not really progress anymore. Which makes me think of uh, I Hypocrite's You Can't Stop Progress series of videos, which I highly recommend. They're... 
There's there's no commentary on them. It's just clips of different stuff that he finds on the net that uh, shows how things are going. Anyway, have a joy, joy day.